Breakthrough statins starve cancer cells to death. I'm Steve Bolero. Welcome to Breakthroughs. More than 35 million Americans take statin drugs daily to lower their blood cholesterol levels. Now in experiments with human cells in the laboratory, researchers at Johns Hopkins Medicine have added to the growing evidence that the ubiquitous drug may kill cancer cells and have uncovered clues on how they do it. The findings enhance previous evidence that statins could be valuable in combating some forms of cancer. In unrelated studies, other Johns Hopkins medicine researchers have studied how statins may cut the risk for aggressive prostate cancer. There have been epidemiological indications that people who take statins for a long time have fewer and less aggressive cancers and that statins can kill cancer cells in the laboratory. But our research was not initially designed to investigate possible biological causes of these observations. The results of the new research appeared in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Peter DeVotris and his team began the new study with an unbiased screen of about 2,500 drugs approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration (FDA) to see which ones had the best kill rate of the cells genetically engineered to have a mutation in a cancer gene called P10. Among the thousands of drugs, statins and in particular pavatostatin emerged as a top contender in cancer killing ability. Most of the other drugs had no effect or killed normal and engineered cells at the same rate. Equal concentrations of pavatostatin caused cell death in nearly all of the engineered cells, but very few in normal cells. Devrotres and his team then looked at the molecular pathways the statins were likely to affect. It's well known, for example, that statins block a liver enzymes that make cholesterol, but the drug also blocks the creation of a small molecule called grenelgrenel phosphate, or GGPP, which is uh, responsible for connecting cellular proteins to cellular membranes. When the researchers added pavatostatin and GGPP to human cancer cells with P10 mutations, the researchers found that GGPP prevented the statins killing effects and the cancer cells survived, suggesting that GGPP may be a key ingredient to cancer cell survival. Next, looking under a microscope at cells engineered to lack the enzyme that makes GGPP, DeVrotres and his team saw that as the cells began to die, they stopped moving. Under normal circumstances, cancer cells are a bundle of moving energy, consuming massive amounts of nutrients to maintain their unchecked growth. They maintain this breakneck pace by creating straw-like protrusions from their surface to drink up nutrients from the surrounding environment. Suspecting that the non-moving cancer cells were literally starving to death, DeVrotri says, the scientists then measured the statin-treated cell's intake by adding a fluorescent tag to proteins in the cell environment. Normal human cells glowed brightly with a fluorescent tag, suggesting that these cells ingested protein from their surroundings regardless of whether the scientists added statins to the mix of nutrients and cells. However, human cancer cells with P10 mutations took in almost no glowing proteins after the scientists added the statins. The inability of the statin-treated cancer cells to make the protrusions needed to take up proteins led to their starvation. Right on! I'll leave a link in the description to the full article, and as usual, please like, share, subscribe, and take care.